uh, Florida State 26, Boston College 23, and they almost gave it up there at the end, didn't they? I mean, just <laughs> they tried. Holy cow, they tried. They needed a fourth down stop. Uh, they got the pick on the fourth down. Florida State 2022 sleeper team, man. They are four, five, and six now. They lost to Jacksonville State. That hurts because, man, they would be in a bowl game if they had just beaten the FCS team. But they get a chance against a spiraling Florida team to get a bowl here. I think they've been better than their record. The advanced stats love them. Uh, it'll be interesting to see what they can do next year. Early, early offshore lines, by the way, which I, I have a feeling that this will shift because uh, I get I just got a text from Jonathan Hood from ESPN Chicago. He said, "Why is Florida favored by ten over Florida State?" <laughs> and I have no is idea. That, is that a, do they do that neutral side or do they do that home and home? No, no, that's home and home. That's home and home. Okay. So, it, it, which I don't think it matters this year. Like I, I think Florida State is a team that wants to be there. Uh, the thing that surprised me in this game, Phil Djokovic, 10 out of 24 passing, one touchdown, one interception. That's a, that's a QB rating under 100. Jordan Travis was 20 out of 34, 251 yards and three touchdowns. He ran the ball 13 times for 26 yards. Travis has big time improved this season. Like This, this team yeah. looks like they are fighting for Mike Norvell, which is a, a nice change of pace for the Seminoles. <laughs> and it's just completely sure. different from what well, we've and, seen. And it's the offensive line, which is the problem with Taggart before. We don't have to do a full deep dive here. Yeah. But it's so hard to fix an offensive line pipeline. And last year, Jordan Travis was the had the most scramble percent on dropbacks. Like the most percent of his dropbacks were scrambles out of anybody in the FBS. He was And he was creating some value with his legs, but he just didn't have time to even get anything going in the passing game. And, and this year, the offensive line has just improved a little bit because, again, that's how you got to build up the program. And so, I mean, shout out for them for taking a step forward. And, and Travis has improved because the offensive line has improved. Uh, another interesting number out of this, by the way, again, I like to look at hidden yardage. Uh, this, this game, it, look, Boston College scored 13 points in the fourth quarter. Florida State did not score in the fourth quarter. This should have been uh, a bigger win for Florida State. Uh, but 13 penalties for 120 yards for the Seminoles. I'll get you. Hey, it'll get you every time. Get you every time. But also, uh, Florida State, only two out of 10 on third down and for two on fourth down. So, you know, when when, uh, when Boston College was eight out of 16 on third down, you know, that's, uh, that's the way that goes. That is the way that goes. Sure. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com. And if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at GaryWCE, at Chris B. Giannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.